What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? I know it's been a long time since I've made a video. I've just been working, working, working. I work two jobs. Well, I've been working two jobs. So I work in the morning, I get out of work, I go work in my second job just so I can uh, finish this beauty over here. So let me show you what we got for today. So the time I'm making this video, my birthday is at the end of the week. So I am dropping this car off in a couple of days for paint finally we're gonna get this car painted and looking beautiful what i've been wanting for a long time only downside this bumper i am very very picky and i want my car to come out perfect if you see over here this section is kind of missing i know something so simple that can probably fix it i'm gonna take it to see what they can do for me but honestly i want something perfect if i'm gonna pay to get it painted but I'm most likely not gonna get the bumper painted. So it's gonna be painted without the bumper. This was my old crash support. I don't know how or why there's a big gaping hole in it. So definitely took that off. I got lucky and there's a gutted out Supra at my local junkyard. And this one is a lot better than mine. It's not broken, it's not cut up or anything. So my plans is I'm gonna go ahead and get the whole car painted with the special color I'm gonna paint it. And then that crash bar, I'm gonna paint it not to match completely what the color is, but to go off of what the color is. Doesn't make sense now, but once I get everything put together, you guys are gonna see what I mean. So today I'm just gonna prep everything. Um, I'm gonna first, the car is too comfortable. And what I mean about that is too, too flowy. And this is, you know, supposed to be a sports car, street car. It's not supposed to be floored. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna raise the um, the spring rate a little bit. Well, not so much the spring rate because I can't change the spring rate, but I'm gonna change the uh, the adjustment on this. I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit so my springs is a little tighter. So that should bring the car to be not as flowy. Um, yeah, it's gonna raise the car a little bit, but I'm not gonna adjust the height yet because then I'll have to get an alignment and I don't want to do that right now Then I did buy a fender roller. I'm gonna Roll this fender perfectly or as perfect as I can because this is all Like wavy. I don't want to wavy. Let's see how I can bring out this Little in a little bit and then I'm gonna do to all the sides Then I'm gonna go ahead and swap out my mirrors because I got new mirrors that are in better condition. These are not bad, but the insides of it is all messed up and I don't want it to break on me one day. And then I got a new uh, hub because I had to take the hub from here to put it in there. Even this thing is broken too. All my cars are broken. Let's go over here and show you what's going on with the Civic. So once I go in alignment, I was taking off the alignment rack and boom, they hit it mad hard and bent my whole exhaust. So. Now nothing lines up and I drove home with this thing dragging. Let's see if I throw in a clip showing you guys what I mean about dragging the whole way home. But yeah, let me go ahead, let me start by going ahead and uh, adjusting the the spring a little bit rolling the fender and then we're gonna throw on the wheels that i got with the car so i don't take these and they don't get paint on them and then i get mad so let's go ahead let's get started okay well just kidding on rolling the fenders on this uh video because of course you order things online and it's uh missing pieces so can't put that together so um i'm just gonna go ahead i'm gonna fix the Spring, like I said, uh, I ended up going just uh, a quarter inch up versus half inch because a quarter inch was already getting too tight. So we'll go up a quarter inch all around, put the stock wheels and do everything else I said. And I had to top off my oil because I do have a stripped oil pan bolt and it leaked out a lot of oil. So I'm low on oil. So let me go ahead and get everything else done then. Oh, and if you guys haven't seen my new carpets, I got some new carpets. They're really cool. It's gonna match with the theme. So you guys can already guess what the theme of the car is gonna be. All right, got 
all the suspension um, sorted out the way I wanted it to. I'm gonna take it for a drive to make sure you know everything feels good. Uh, got new mirrors on, so these are in way better condition than mine were. Mine were in bad condition, but these are a little more. Oh, maybe I should point here. Uh, these are a little more sturdy. The other ones were having some issues, so I just went ahead and bought some. Mirrors for this car is not freaking cheap. These things were freaking expensive. Uh, and I went ahead and got my quick release into two in black, just because, you know, I don't want to get different colors than what I'm trying to, you know, paint the car. So let me go ahead and clean up my mess. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take it for a drive. And then I'll go ahead and get the Civic in so I can deal with the whole exhaust system on this thing. What a pain in the butt. And yeah, the crash bar. So actually I can't use it. This, this side over here is bent in. I don't know if you can tell, but this one sticks out a little farther. This one is kind of like angled upward, so it, it is bad. So can't run that. So now I gotta order one because I don't wanna run the one that's all cut up. I don't know why it's cut up. I'm sure it was for more airflow but it looks ugly. So we're gonna go ahead and see if I can find another one of that. Cause I think finding that is easier than finding a bumper. So let me go ahead, let me take a test drive and then I'll come back and get the Civic in. All right, I went ahead. I took the car for a drive and the car feels great. Uh, the suspension wise, it feels so much better. Now it doesn't like feel too like droopy. It feels more like, you know, it still has the little comfort, but it's like firm. It's a firm comfort. I love it. it feels so good. And, um, I got too carried away when I got back. I just started working on the uh, Civic. I went ahead, I got the exhaust all put back up. It is completely bent. I just don't want to waste any money right now to go ahead and um, get this uh, new full exhaust uh, just because I don't know if I'm going to keep the car NA or I'm going to boost it because if I boost it, then obviously I need a rubber manifold and most likely a custom exhaust. So for now, these things, they have uh, multiple purposes. They're not only for holding up hoses you can actually use them to hold up exhaust too you just have to be very creative but this uh upcoming thursday i go to new york uh so the car gets dropped off wednesday hopefully if everything goes well and then uh when i get back uh just wait for them to let me know it's ready to pick up and then we'll go ahead and reveal the uh the new paint how the car is going to look all one color and what color is going to be but that's all i have for you guys today another short video just a little update um let me just show you how the car is sitting before I go ahead and close out the video on how I'm taking it to the um, painters. So this is how she's going to the paint shop just because again, like I said, my wheels, I don't want them to mess it up. Like I trust them and everything, but you know, better safe than sorry. So now I just gotta find a new crash beam in a bar, whatever you guys wanna call it. And then I went ahead, I also ordered a uh, new trim for this. I don't know if I told you in the, in the previous videos how, what type of trim I ordered, but stay tuned for that. It's going to look sick. Obviously, when I get the car back, put the wheels back on. Have the new trim for the pillars over here too. So, yeah, I am so excited. Let me show you the exhaust. It's droopy right here, but for the most part, it's not scraping the floor like it was before. So, much better. Once the car gets painted, um, I do have uh, the new trigger wheel to go ahead and put on. Uh, previous videos ago, uh, when I was going to the tuners, um, trigger wheel might be broken in the inside. That's why I'm not able to redline the vehicle at the moment. So hopefully I go ahead and install that. There'll be a video on that, new timing bell and whatnot. Uh, new pulleys, make it look a little pretty. Um, then we'll take it back to the tuners, get it retuned and just finalize it and just enjoy it how it sits for a while because i do have to save up and i want to start digging more into the civic um most likely what i'm gonna do for the civic i'm gonna do a um a junkyard build so meaning junkyard i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna get a motor pull at the junkyard and we're gonna go pull it ourselves um and then i'm gonna um strip it down fully uh build it with um rods and pistons and everything uh put it back together boost it and then throw it in the car um, I've never done that before, so it's going to be my first time. So if it goes good, it goes good. If it doesn't go good, oh, well, I try again. That's that's the learning process. That's how we learn how to do things. But either way, that's enough for me for today. I'm doing a little talking here. So again, uh, keep up with it. Next video should be the paint reveal. And if you like the content, you want to keep up still, 
Go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. Have a good day, guys.